The opening night for the Guam Art Exhibit, or commonly referred to as GAX, was held on Thursday, November 15th. The curated exhibit featured over 40 of Guam's talented artists who used an array of mediums. Josh Agerstrand, who is not only the show's curator, also contributed one of his acrylic pieces that was a result of his vivid imagination. It's about ghost conquistadors and ghost jellyfish and about like a kind of futuristic, like desolate jungle landscape, kind of like Guam way in the future. And there's just all that's left over is ghosts. Uh, and I just want to have a lot of fun with it, you know, and kind of mess around with the history that exists on Guam. GAX, which has continued to grow in popularity and participation, serves as a platform for some of Guam's talented artisans. Photographer Jared Cadahe had a series of photos on display that he took using his Canon 70. These are depicting cultural sites, ancestral sites of our island, of our culture, of our ancestors. And um, I'm exhibiting here at the GAX, third annual GAX. And it's a collaborative of all local artists. That is a great event that everyone should come see. Since its opening, the GAX has had several hundred visitors. Artist Ron Kabuhat showcased pieces using the technique of blowing glass. My theme for this art show is uh, kind of like a Thanksgiving theme, orange and pumpkins and stuff. Touching on all forms of art, the GAX also hosted a live band night at the gallery with musical performances from Sex Karate and High Rise. And last Saturday, a second opening was held with nine live artists creating pieces of graffiti, street art, painting, and illustration to music by DJ J. Pogi. Now, if you missed out, you still have time to check out the GAX with artwork on display until December 1st, concluding with the night of spoken word. Stop on by the second floor of the plaza right next to Underwater World and see all of the awesome the island has to offer.